All right, guys, Sunday. Warm up, we got our passes again, right? 50 foot passes, you're gonna do 25 feet with your inchworms, 25 feet back uh, in step stretch, 10 arm circles forward and back, 10, ar 10 arm swings side to side, 10 arm swings up and down. Then 20 leg swings side to side on both sides, 50 foot bear crawls, rar. Uh, high knees 25 feet and then booty kickers 25 feet right and then burpee broad jumps for 50 feet and then you're gonna repeat this seven to eight times so we up the the uh, amount of time that you guys are doing the warm-up um, minimal or sorry, minimal equipment 20 minutes you're gonna cycle through 400 meter run 20 dumbbell sit-ups so it's just weighted sit-ups you guys can use whatever object you have or a dumbbell 30 second side plank hold 30 second right side plank hold and the uh, sub, if you guys can't run, is gonna be 60 alternating wood choppers, and we'll show you what those look like. Uh, no, uh, zero equipment, same thing, 20 minutes, 400 meter run, 20 weighted sit-ups, 30 plank left, 30 plank right, side plank, um, and then we're gonna go same thing, uh, 60 alternating wood choppers for that that uh, the run, not the sit-up, the run. Uh, and then your three sets, 12 dumbbell curl and press, 12 single dumbbell skull crusher, so one arm at a time, and then 12 alternating dumbbell windmills. All right, your zero equipment, three sets, 50 foot uh, quadruplet crawl uh, forward and backwards. So you can go 50 foot forward, 50 foot backwards. Then you're gonna do 12 alternating unweighted windmills, and then 12 uh, object curl and press for the uh, zero equipment. You're stretching, you're practicing the splits for five minutes, right? So we're just trying to get a little bit flexy in that uh, groin area. All right, guys, so for your warm-up, we're going old school again, right? So we're going to start off with those inchworms, okay? We're going to tip your toe in, push your butt up in the air, knees locked, palms flat, hold it for a stretch, walk your hands out, and then repeat, okay? Come to full extension, right? No sagging at the bottom, right? Tip your toe in and again, right? After you guys get done 25 feet, we're going to go in-step stretch. So we're going to take that foot, get it by the hand, okay? Push the knee slightly out so that you guys can uh, feel it in that groin and hip. If you guys want, you can try to reach down with that elbow and then same thing, walk it out, other side. All right, so you're gonna do 25 feet inchworms, 25 feet in step. Then you guys are gonna do arm circles, right? Forward for 10, back for 10, then right into side to side, alternate which one goes on top for 10 of them and then up and down for 10 also. Okay, that's gonna be number two. Number three is leg swings. So if you need to, hold on to something forward and back. All right, trying to swing. Same thing, other side. So we're doing 20 and 20. Then we're gonna bear crawl for 50 feet, right? Head below the hips, all the way 50 feet. Bear crawling, after that, we're gonna do high knees. So we're gonna bring those knees up to about belly button high. Fast up and down, slow going forward. Elbow and arm should stay at a 90 degree as we're swinging the arms. Uh, butt kickers, hands on the butt. Make sure that butt or that heel comes up, right? We should be in a figure four as we're doing this, right? Trying not to uh, pull our knee too, or our uh, foot too far back. Again, fast up and down, slow going forward. Make sure that the ankle is nice and flimsy, right? You should just flip up and hit you in the butt. Next is burpee broad jumps, chest quads. Pop back, load the hip, pop forward. Jump as far forward as you can and then repeat right back into a burpee and then a broad jump. And you're gonna cycle that for seven to eight minutes, okay? All right guys, so for your workout, right? Your minimal equipment, you're gonna cycle this for 20 minutes. 400 meter run, so hopefully you guys have that mapped out. Again, if you guys can't do the 400 meter run, you guys are gonna do uh, wood chopping. You can do it with a dumbbell, if you guys have a dumbbell or an object, okay? And we're kind of going up and going down at an angle. And then we're gonna go up and down the other angle, okay? So we're just trying to create this X as we're chopping, you guys can hold it like you're holding an ax. Your call if you guys want to, okay? Turn the other way. But it's gonna be 60 total, 30 to each side. You can do all 30 on one side if you guys want. Right, chop, come back, do it again. And then do the other side, your choice. If you can run, run. It might be a little easier this time. Right, after that, you guys have weighted sit-ups. So we're gonna have feet, bottom of the feet together. We'll have that dumbbell in our, in our uh, chest. We're just gonna hold it, okay? We're gonna go back, shoulders touch the, the, the uh, floor. I sit up, shoulder passes the hip crease, and then I repeat, okay? And you're gonna do 20 dumbbell sit-ups, right? Then we're gonna go to a side plank, and we're gonna hold a side plank. So your choice if you guys wanna hold 
in the uh, forearm position or if you guys want to be in the hand, you can stagger your feet so you have a little bit of, uh, of stability. Make sure that hip's not sagging, okay? I'll show here so that you guys can see a saggy hip versus non-sagging. Okay, try to push that hip up to the air. So you'll do 30 seconds on one side and then 30 seconds on the other. Your minimal equipment, again, 400 meter run or same thing, this time no wood chopping or the wood chopping with no object, okay? So you'll just twist. Um, it's just to get that rotation, kind of like a Russian twist, but you're standing, All right? Then after that, you're gonna go weighted sit-ups again. This time you'll just use an object and you'll do this exact same thing with your ab mat or towel or whatever you guys have folded yoga mat, okay? Uh, and then you're gonna do 30 seconds plank, both sides again. So they're similar, but a little different, okay? All right guys, so for your accessory work and your stretching kit, okay, you're gonna start off with 12 dumbbell curl and press. So we'll have both curl, press, back down, uncurl. Squeeze your belly, squeeze your butt as, as you do these, okay? After you get your 12 done, you're gonna have single arm dumbbell skull crusher, right? So the goal here is to keep the elbow, this arm, keep the elbow in place, right? So don't let it move as I go down and as I extend. Okay, so watch out for your face. Make sure you guys don't hit yourselves. It should all be tricep. You can lay on the floor and do it. If you guys have a bench, you can do it on a bench. Okay, after that, we're gonna have alternating windmills. Uh, it's gonna be 12, so you guys can do six and six. So when you do this, we're gonna set our stance about hip to shoulder width apart, right? Pick which side you guys are gonna be going to. Dumbbell's gonna be in the side, one side, arm's gonna be down, and you can just kind of trace the leg as you push the hip down, okay? Once you touch that floor, bring it back up. All right, and then you're gonna do the same thing, other side. All right, so that's gonna be your minimal equipment. Your zero equipment, um, 50 foot quadruplet crawl, right? So you've seen these before, right? For this, we'll end up going here. We're gonna extend, put our foot down, extend, put our foot down. Okay, and we're gonna keep switching. So we're just trying to stay up, right? Knees will never touch the floor. It's kind of like our little little crawl here, right? We can move this way also if we need to scale down and can't fully extend. But try to fully extend so you guys can feel that in the uh, midline and then move forward. So we're gonna go 50 foot forward, right? And then 50 foot back, go extend, step back, extend, step back, right? We're just trying to move real slow, uh, just, you know, kind of challenge that midline, all right? So forward and back there, then you're gonna do windmills again, unweighted, right? So again, open the stance about hip to shoulder width apart, turn foot slightly out, hand up, hand on the thigh, push the hip to the side, go down, touch. Notice I'm trying to keep this arm up and then I rotate back up, All right? So again, six per side and then uh, finish it off there. Then your curl and press with your objects, whether it's your dumbbells or your jugs, okay? You're gonna do the same thing, curl and then press, right? Um, same amount, still 12. For your uh, stretching, your practice, okay? We're practicing the splits. They could be the forward splits, they could be the side splits, your choice. So you guys can start just by opening up the stance, right? Or if you guys wanna start going forward and back, you can see I need some work to do on my splits, right? Work the other side. So you can switch it up and just kind of uh, uh, practice a little bit on each side, go straddle, right? And then try to force yourself to go into that split. Um, but just have fun with it 